Hello, my beautiful Cancers, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading for the week of February the 16th up until February the 23rd. All right, Cancers, let's go and jump right into your reading. Hello, hello, my beautiful Cancers. How have you guys been? Okay, I'm going to go and start calibrating to the energies of my wonderful Cancers. Thank you so much, my guides and my angels, for providing any messages and guidance that my Cancers are here seeking to find this week. What do we have for Cancers this week? Always remember that energies are fluid, so take it as it resonates. If I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand. So always, always take it as it resonates. And remember, this can be for your sun, moon rising or your Venus placement. So if those are dominant within your chart, please make sure to check those out as well and feel free to reverse the energies. All right, Cancers, you're starting this week with a dominant energy of the, wow, the Page of Wands in the reverse. So someone here is very nervous to either embrace you fully or tell you how they truly feel, okay? So it's kind of like this person is waiting to kind of see a nod, a nod from you or somebody here is waiting for, maybe you're the one waiting to see kind of like an okay from them. You know, there's this energy where there's playful energy I'm picking up on. Maybe if this is a brand new person, and there's kind of like this caregiving energy that you are giving to this person. And this person is actually a natural caregiver themselves, but I feel like they're not, they don't easily show this, okay? And they're starting to realize that they need to change. They need to start changing this about themselves because it's just that they're a little bit afraid to be too rash about their decisions or be too rash about believing in who you are, who you've actually presented yourselves to be to this person. It's kind of like your person, somebody here is a little bit in disbelief, like, wow, can cancer or this person really be this amazing? Can they really be like, wow, this person seems like they're pretty perfect for me, okay? So it's a little bit of fear, kind of like nervous energy that I'm picking up on. Now let's go and see what else is going on in your environment. Some of you guys might be dealing with any of the water signs, any of the, uh, let's see, fire signs. I also see earth signs. What else do we have here? Any of the air signs, okay, yeah, so a lot of air here as well, fire, a brand new beginning. Yeah, this person feels very passionate about you. I mean, literally, this person has dreams about you. They dream about you at night. They think about how it would be to be with you, how it would be to live with you, what it would be to spend time together, what it would be to live together. This person sees you like, it's like I can imagine them seeing you in their kitchen, you know, you guys cook together or maybe this is you imagining how you know you guys would live together how you guys would get along this person kind of feels very very passionate about you they feel like you have re um, ignited that spark within their heart that had been sleeping for quite a while okay so now now that they have met you cancers are not sure how to embrace you okay so that's why this situation has become a little bit of a paradox okay a little bit confusing for you because because you're not sure if this person likes you or not. It's like you get confused. One day they kind of show you that they do and then the next day they kind of show you that this part of them that you're just like, oh, wait a minute, this person's being a little bit distant, you know, maybe maybe just kind of like this, there's this energy where someone here is about to experience this rude awakening because it's, look at this, this person keeps thinking about you. They're just analyzing how is it that you are so perfect? How is it that you, you know, maybe you've sent them pictures of the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis or maybe they see it on your social media, on your stories or whatever the case may be, okay? And this person is very intrigued by you. They're very, very intrigued by your energy they want to offer you commitment i mean this is a personality type that really really thinks things through before they make some kind of decision like i said this is a real caregiver themselves as well i feel like you are a natural caregiver uh cancers and so is this person it's just that this person has not showed it yet i feel like again they want to take initiation towards you i feel like at first this person took a plunge with you by dating a type of person like like uh like you okay because i feel like this person and i mean that with full respect like i feel like this person was so used to toxic people and they have been working on themselves to not attract toxicity and so when they see you they're like oh my god is this person really this amazing right like this person is just kind of like trying to come to terms with 
wow, you know, can we really make this happen? So there are moments when I feel like this person is a little bit frightened by your intensity in the best of ways, by your creativity, your intensity. Maybe you send them pictures of your work. Maybe you've sent them pictures of your cooking, of your whatever it is, okay? And they're just like in awe by you and everything that you do, okay? So it's like this person does want to tell you what you mean to them. And I feel like they're going to start kind of like... um. Uh, maybe like a, like invite you to like meet their friends or like a social gathering or a social environment because they want to know what you are like around people. Okay, so this is actually leading to a very good place. Now I do see here as your outcome energies, the 10 of cups, of course, you guys have built already an emotional bond. This is an emotional connection that you guys have already built. The fact that this person perhaps is still trying to come to terms with the fact that this is what it is, basically the 10 of cups, you know, an emotional bond, an emotional or connection that's a completely different story it's not that they don't like you it's just that they're a little bit afraid maybe they feel like they they don't want to get judged by society maybe there is like um an age gap or maybe they're afraid that you have other options or that you get a lot of attention or you know whatever the case may be but this person um they're trying very very hard to not let their fears overcome their um their infatuation for you and i feel like it's more than just infatuation i do sense here that again you ignite this passion within this person but let's go ahead and see what exactly this page of wands is in the reverse for my beautiful cancers what is this page of wands in the reverse Okay, so unfinished business, like I said, somebody here is trying to hold back, you know, again, like this tower moment in the reverse is just very, very clear with these other energies representing the fact that this person is getting ready to tell you, to tell you how they truly feel. They have been really blocked off emotionally. They've been thinking about how to approach this conversation. They kind of like, you know, um, at one point, they kind of even thought of backing off from you completely. This could possibly be you too, whoever this person is. They thought about backing off completely because of their fear, but I feel like they're not going to do that because I do sense here that there is unfinished business. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be, but again, this person, it's also kind of like a little bit of their pride. They don't really want to show vulnerability, but I feel like they're getting closer to showing it, okay? Because this person at first, they perhaps just wanted something physical with you and they just kind of wanted to make it seem like it was just infatuation or just something physical. But again, this person is kind of like coming into this rude awakening whoever this person is maybe this is you maybe this is them but whoever this person is they're kind of um they're kind of being moved emotionally okay they they their their emotions are being are being moved which has not happened to them in a very long time now i do sense that this person's going to want a brand new beginning like i said i mean whoever this person is they want a brand new beginning they want a brand new start either with you or, you know, whoever this person is, maybe this is you. Like I said, maybe this is you wanting a brand new beginning and no longer wanting the burdens from the past. It's up to you. But let's go ahead and see. I want to know what my guides and angels have for you this week. And like I said, this person, just remember, they're blocked off emotionally right now. But again, they're opening up little by a little. Here we have opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So... However this resonates, take it as it resonates. One more guidance and angel message for my beautiful Cancers this week. You know what to do, Cancers. Okay, here we have Archangel Uriel. Trust your inner knowledge, Cancer, and act upon it without delay. Wow, absolutely beautiful, beautiful reading. This is what I have for you this week, my beautiful Cancers. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, please do check the description box below as I now have openings and follow my new Instagram page at Gina G official as I will be posting more on there. Hope that you enjoyed your reading. I do hope that it resonated. Let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on. I really love reading all of your stories. Believe me, I read every single one of your messages. Thank you so, so much for sharing that in your comments below. If you did enjoy this reading, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps to support me and my channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. Um, without further ado, thank you so, so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Yeah.